Okay students, today I am going to discuss on a very amazing problem here. Whatever I am displaying here is a previous year problem I can say, which was asked in 2019. This is a conventional method, it is a traditional method which is given in the books. This method can be found in any of the books. But you all know that how difficult it is to remember the dimensional formula. In an exam fear, in an exam tension, even the basic formulas are forgotten by the students due to the pressure of time, due to the pressure of exam. Your memory uh, sometimes will be blocked. So this method will help you when you forget the formulas also. It's a traditional method. It's a traditional method to solve the problems by remembering the dimensional formulas. But today I'm going to discuss an amazing trick here. Without remembering the dimensional formulas also, you can solve the problems. You see the traditional method. Now let me discuss the method which I have discovered. Inshallah, today I'm going to discuss with you. So today we are discussing an amazing problem here. So you have to find out the dimensional formula for L by RCV. L is inductance, R is resistance, C is capacitance and V is potential difference. But can you remember the dimensional formula for such a tough physical quantities? It's highly impossible. In exam, pressure you'll forget. So L by R can be taken as time period. In according to the chapter called as alternating currents, L by R is nothing but time period here. Time. L by R represents time here. Quantity of charge. That is charge is represented with CV. Capacitance and potential difference. You also know that charge can be represented with I into T also. Current into time. Because I is equal to Q by T, Q can be written as IT. I is represented with A in the dimensional formulas. Dimensional identity for I is A. A means ampere. So it's very simple. Instead of L by R C V, L by R is represented with T. And Q is represented with CV. CV is represented with AD. That's it. CV I am writing with A, T. T, T gets cancelled and what is left here? Only A is left. So 1 by A is nothing but A inverse. It's a very amazing trick. No need to remember any dimensional formulas because you are going to forget in exam fear, pressure. Thank you very much. All the best. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Prescribe to your friends and describe the comments below.